안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. On this video, we are going to learn about a design pattern that is incredibly helpful, easy to apply, and that will make your code shine. The pattern we will learn about on this video is from the structural category. If you don't know what that means, I suggest you check out our previous video where we introduced the concept of design patterns and learned about their categories. Today's pattern is the facade pattern. Just like the facade of a building hides its complex structure and details, the facade pattern in software design is used when we need to make a complex system simpler and easier for the user to interact with. When using the facade pattern, we create a class that has a set of methods that are straightforward and easy to use. These methods interact with the system's internal components, handling the complex operations and offering the user an easier way to interact with the system. For example, let's pretend that we have a smart home. A home where the lights, thermostat, security, and TV are all connected. Whenever we leave the house, we have to remember to turn off the aircon, dim the lights, arm the alarm system, and turn off the TV. One action requires many other small actions. That sounds like the perfect use case for a facade. Let's create a smart home facade class. First, when the class is initialized in the constructor, it is going to initialize the subsystems it will be controlling, lights, aircon, security, and television. When we leave our house, we want to turn off all the lights, switch off the air conditioning, and start the security system. When we return home, we want to light up the entrance, turn on the air conditioning, and stop the security system. If we decide to watch a movie, we would like to lower the brightness in the living room, change the TV to the movie channel, and turn on the air conditioning. Before or heading to sleep, we turn off all the lights, switch off the air conditioning, and start the security system again. Now our smart home has a facade. And as you can see, thanks to the facade pattern, we can hide all the complexity and we can get an easy to use interface where all we have to do is call the methods we need and forget about what goes on behind the scenes. For a more realistic example, you can use the facade pattern like I do when you are fetching from or sending a lot of data to an API. In Instead of having a bunch of fetch calls spread throughout your application, which can be difficult to maintain and understand, you can hide all these operations behind a single facade. We first create an API facade class that will have a base URL property passed on the constructor. Then we can create methods to send or get data to and from our API. The post method is going to send the post requests and the get method is going to just do normal fetch get requests. Now we can use this facade by first setting the base URL and then calling the methods with the paths and data. You could go one step further and create methods for every API action, like here where we now have the get users and create user method. So when we use the facade, it looks even better. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you can see how helpful and easy to use the facade pattern is. If you like this video and comment below that you want to learn more, the next video I'll make will be about behavioral design patterns. So let me know in the comments if that is something you would like to see. If you like the way I explain things and you would like like to learn things like JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, among many, many others for absolutely free. All you have to do is click the link below to join any of our many free courses that you can take right now for absolutely free with me. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onjana, kamsahago, sanam hamida. See you on the next one. Daume bayo. Bye bye.